and we are live ladies and gentlemen welcome to playstation state of play summer 2022 i get the feeling this is going to be a big one this feels like it's kind of their maybe e3 stream that they're doing if there were an e3 um also is it just me or is this beat kind of fire i am i am jiving to this uh, but welcome. Thank you for making it. Thank you for hanging out with me. I am excited to see what PlayStation has in store. This is not just like the indie showcase or the here a couple new things showcase. This feels like maybe it's going to be the big one. I feel like here's when we're going to see maybe a little God of War. Maybe a, a release date for that. Maybe new Spider-Man 2 stuff. Um, Knack 3, of course. Without that, can you really call this a... Uh, a press conference. Final Fantasy 16 people are looking forward to. Yep. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what is it? Is it just third party? No God of War. It's third party. Is that right? Let me read the description here. Okay. It's just a, ne a nearly 30 minutes of announcements. Okay. If it's 30 minutes, there's no way this is... Um like the, their big press conference okay maybe maybe we won't see more god of war if it's just third party stuff i don't know we'll have some exciting reveals from our third party partners plus a sneak peek at several games in development for playstation vr 2 i'd be excited for that all right okay so let's you know temper our expectations then for this one um if i see some final fantasy 16 though i'll be satisfied re4 remake i'll be satisfied si silent hill i wonder We've seen those rumors spread. The leaks have happened. We know it's real, right, at this point. And Konami went on a copyright takedown spree. That's as good as confirmation that the leaks are real. Miguel Ortiz, thank you for the super chat. He says, just want to thank you for talking some sense and being a good representation of the fan bases. Thank you for your work, man. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, ultimately, you know, I just, I have certain opinions about how the games industry could be and should be. And if you agree with me, hey, that's great. And for those who challenge my opinions, that's cool too. Um, you know, it's just ultimately about having those discussions, right? Maximum says, don't get to catch you live often, but been with your channel a while. Wanted to say what's up, Yong, and keep up the wonderful coverage as always. Well, thank you, Maximum. Glad you can make it this time. And it's uh, just uh, awesome to have you. And all, all you folks here, I appreciate the contribution, man. Very kind of you. Uh, Kalija Anderson, thank you for sharing this with us. Of course, thank you for choosing to hang out with me when you could just, uh, you know, tune in somewhere else. Matt H., have you uh, by any chance seen Top Gun Maverick and do you intend on going to see Pixar's Lightyear? Uh, no and yes. Uh, I do want to see Top Gun Maverick, but I want to rewatch the first movie because there is some, obviously it's a sequel, so there's some elements you probably know about. The, uh, the first movie, which I, I saw, I mean, many, many years ago, but it's been so long that I've forgotten a lot of the details, so... I hear the original Top Gun's, like, not that great of a movie. I hear Top Gun Maverick is just, like, blowing everyone away. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Bath says, uh, Final Fantasy 16 Summoning Circle. Yes. You gotta do the Goku or the uh, the Dragon Ball where everyone gives Goku their energy for his energy ball. Final Fantasy 16. I mean, from what I heard, you know, I think the developers themselves said basically the development of FF16 is close to completion. We're in the polishing stages. So, yeah, they're taking a very different marketing approach with this one, where they're not showing a bunch of stuff before the game's launch. They're only showing stuff when it's ready to be shown, which I think is a better approach. I'd rather, you know, have, like, two big marketing pushes instead of, like, you know, ten small ones. And ones that draw out things too long. Uh, J. Lou says, I have somewhat high expectations for this. I hope it delivers. Saludos de México. Me gusta mucho tu español, Young. Pues muchas gracias y saludos a, to a todos los latinos. O cualquier persona que habla español. Steven Stringle, uh, Strange, the String Fellow. Do you think we will see stuff with KOTOR Remake? Yeah, that's another... Well, actually... Hold on, is that third party? It's like, a, it's PlayStation exclusive. It is third party. It's just, it's PlayStation timed exclusive, I want to say. I'm not sure. Um, this would be a good time to show that. This is focused on third party according to the description of this video. So, yeah, I... Uh, assuming that's going to be the case, don't expect to see... God of War or anything like that, but KOTOR Remake, I can potentially imagine seeing here. FF16 feels like a no-brainer. 
Ooh, MGS Remake. If that were announced in this state of play, that would blow some minds, wouldn't it? Uh, Snail Mail 2000, super hyped about FF16, saying FF16 or get the fuck out. <laughs> Fair enough. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it being a, a PlayStation exclusive or timed exclusive also, I think, I feel like if there is a time to show that game, it's this event and release it maybe, you know, a couple months from now. Uh, like late this year seems like the ideal course to take. <clears throat> Let's see. Ricky the Mad Dragon Zyong says, Hi, Yong. Expecting uh, Resident Evil 8 DLC reveal on State of Play. Love your role in Lost Judgment, Shirkaba. Ah, thank you. Uh, it's such an honor to get to be a part of the Yakuza Judgment universe. Um, can you say, Come, uh, come, Kaito san? Yeah, uh, that's the line right before you fight me as a boss battle. Drow, hey, love your coverage and work. Keep it up. Excited to see what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, me too. I'm excited for some of these games that are coming out. Um, and also just voiceover wise, what kind of new roles I'll be able to get down the line. Uh, we got D Matthews here. I want to see a going Super Saiyong t-shirt. <laughs> I'll think about that one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tactical Toto, 321. Missing work to be here. Love your work, Yong. Been following since Ground Zero's Japanese trailer dropped. One of the veterans I see. Great to have you here. Okay, let's dive right in. Uh... <clears throat> Let's see, come on. Open strong. Oh, okay. They're kicking things off pretty dramatically, March 24th. What is this? Oh, Resident Evil. Somebody called it. Oh, four. Yo, okay. Gunder Wonderroost. Located me. Gameplay? Okay, bros. It's Morbin time. What a way to kick off. Un forastero. Oh my god, look at Leon. That jacket. Guess you, me. Big drunk spot to vacation, eh? Oh, oh man, this brings back memories. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins. Now. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start, ladies and gentlemen. If I could just forget what happened that night. Oof. The pain. Even for a second. Ashley! Oh, boy. This time, it can be different. Oh, man! This looks so good! To. Ah, uh, it's so cool to see Resident Evil 4 with these, like, modern graphics. That's... Ah. Uh, okay. March? It's pretty soon. Oh. Well, all right. Color me intrigued. <laughs> the chat. Leon! Play help me, and Leon! We've got some great oh, God. PlayStation updates to share the with Navi you of Resident Evil 4. And thanks to Capcom for kicking it off with Resident Evil 4. Coming to PS5 with PlayStation VR 2 content also in development. Now let's Man. get a sneak peek at four games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Uh, what, Resident Evil 8 fully playable on VR 2? <sighs> now, let's take a look at him. Are you t uh, I love how they open with well, Dimitrescu. Well, oh, yes. This is the dream. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. This is marketing. Yes, mother. Yes. Mother. yes. Please, step on me. In VR. Okay. This is cool though, genuinely. 
And I mean, it looks good too. The hardware is putting in work to really bring out the graphics. Usually with VR. Oh, come on, Capcom. You can't do this to me. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Man, blood. Oh, careful what you wish for. <laughs> they're so aware of what they're doing. What are you doing? Oh no, oh no. I'm tied down. Oh no, I'm being stepped on. Whatever shall I do? Well, I guess this is my life now. Well. She just got way more immersive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sold. You, of all people, have the audacity to the dream VR you. experience. You, who emerged from the putrid waters of the Bayou to plunder our righteous gains and cut our throats like a demon in the night. What is this? What have you done to ensure the future of this forsaken city? This is you who have brought nothing but chaos. Dying light? Yeah. When death was swallowing this city hall, it was I who resurrected it. It was I who shined as a beacon of hope for all. This seems the tower like cries out for blood, and I vow to spill it. When the bells ring, the song they sing will be righteous. Oh, the Walking Dead Saint Sinners. Gotcha, Welcome gotcha. Home. I'm not familiar with uh, Walking Dead Saint Sinners, so I yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks looks fun though, you know. VR zombie shooter experience. That's always fun. No Man's Sky? Wow. It's crazy how far this game has come since launch. It's not even identifiable from what it was at launch. Like, it's just, it's such a vastly expanded and different experience now. Talk about a redemption arc. There. Oh, Horizon. Me? Oh my god. I asked you a question. This gorgeous world and engine and VR. Everyone says Reyes is a good shot. Yeah, and it'll put arrows through both of us. Damn, this looks, looks beautiful. It's a snap mob. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> hey, you're finally awake. Blameless Murad had me released from prison. But why? Redemption is still possible, Reyes. Climb the mountain. Man, this looks awesome. Find out why the machines are attacking. This looks this looks like a lot of fun, not gonna lie. Mech battles and VR. And you shall be a free mm. man. Sign me it up. It will take all your wits, your skills, and courage. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time to climb into the light. Curious how much these VR games will cost and how much VR PSVR 2 will cost. Hi, I'm Ben McCaw, Narrative Director at Guerrilla. I hope you enjoyed your first look at Horizon Call of the Mountain, coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2.
We're also happy to announce that a big update to Horizon Forbidden West, including New Game Plus, will be available to download on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 today. Hell yes. <laughs> Rhino 1931. Resident Evil 4 is cool and all, but what about Abandon? Yeah. I don't know, I'm sort of done with that whole situation. It's... I don't know. I'm 99% convinced it's not a Kojima conspiracy. It's just... An indie dev weighing over their heads. With very poor marketing choices, so... Yeah. For details on this free update, <clears throat> please check out PlayStation Blog. From all of us at Guerrilla, thank you for your continued support. And please stay tuned for more updates to come. I I get ready. A PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. Oh, I love I love this push of PlayStation games coming out on PC after some time. Years. Yo, let's go. So much and asking for nothing. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man. Who can make the hardest decisions? Do you really need two of those? This is one you game where I'm like, everything that's wrong with this city. The more yeah, people I'm can play go, this, uh, the better off the world will be. Do your thing. You can't just push people around like that. Just ask for help next time. Time to bring back the glory days. <laughs> Remastered coming to PC on August 12th. Did you leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh. <laughs> what about Miles Morales? I'm assuming that's following up pretty soon. Stray! Oh my god, I've, I've wanted to see more of this game. You're just this adorable little cat. And as a cat owner, this is very much appealing to me. It's a cat in a cyberpunk setting. What more can you ask for? Aww. No, oh, I miss my cat now. She's back in uh, Delaware with my parents while well, I'm here in LA I miss her well, I got some combat or some fling rather <clears throat> I feel like this is one of those games that on the surface like okay you play as a cat but it's gonna get real deep and real emotional as you keep progressing through it Aww. <laughs> Aww. My Kokoro. Alright, July 19th. Next month. Explore a mysterious cyber city in Stray. Coming <clears> to I PS5 get and PS4 copy July for this. 19th. PlayStation Plus extra members and higher can download Stray at no extra cost when it launches next month. Up next, three games that will get your heart racing. Let's see... So I've got some super chats here. Well, let me take a look at this. Holly Cross 9, speaking of cats, are you a fan of Garfield? Uh, yeah, I, I grew up watching Garfield, so... Isn't Chris Pratt voicing Garfield in an upcoming thing? Take a look outside. Just like he's voicing Mario. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Callisto Protocol. Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. From the guy who made so Death Space. Whatever you're holding on to right there. You can definitely tell that this That's is a style. Old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. At rebirth. <laughs> Yeah. This looks awesome. 
The Dead Space creator uh, still has it. For those who don't know, EA is making the remake. The guy who directed Dead Space is no longer with uh, EA. He's at his, I think, his own studio. I just love that last part. And he's making his own spiritual successor to Dead Space, and it looks freaking sick. Gives me chills every time. Ooh, looks cool. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, Dragonheart613, will you be doing a video about Raven Software recently forming the first official union in the gaming industry? Yeah, I hope to talk about that. Uh, that's huge. A huge development right there. December 2nd. Okay, there's... Okay. There's some stuff coming out this year. In the uh, year 2030. What is this? Oh, it's... Blood sport grips I, the I forget the name of this game. But, uh... I, so this is an and expansion or something. There will only be the victorious... Wait, or, or is this a different game? And the dead. Oh, no, it's a different game. The engine, the game engine... It's definitely familiar. Hold on, is this John Woo skating, basically? <laughs> this? Okay. I am super into this. This looks really cool. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I want to play this. <laughs> the world is watching. In Jet Set. Roller drone. <laughs> the chat's saying Jet Set. Okay, it's Roller Drone. All right, June 16th. I want to check this out. Sometimes I wonder if things will ever be normal again. Max Payne Skater. Max Payne Pro Skater. This is what basically what that was. Is this Persona? Wait. Yet. It's no. Not hopeless. What? What is I this? I won't let anyone else get hurt. Don't you want science in your corner? Yeah, science, bitch. Oh, you. I'm going to miss them. No, it's not for sure. I, I saw like the the day and night cycle to on the top right with the like more anime uh, anime e art style. I'm like, maybe Persona related. No. But Atlas has a very specific. Distinguishable art style, and this is not it. Yeah, what is this? I'm intrigued. Eternites. <laughs> Revengeance. That's the name. Early 2023. Okay. Eternites. I'm intrigued. Action games and dating sims collide in Eternals. Ah, Come Waifu to PS5 Simulator. And PS4 next year. Let's check back in with Capcom for a new look at an upcoming heavy hitter. Wow, Capcom's just bam, bam, bam. Taking up a significant portion of this state of play. What do we have here? Street Fighter? When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. Yes, this journey street, doesn't have a real Street ending. Fighter seems to be the most likely. Okay then, we'll be ready to begin. Or... You wanna start off on the right foot in this city? Hit the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dad, Maybe. No, I don't know. 
I'm not too familiar with Street Fighter. Was that a Street Fighter character? No, this this. Oh well, this is gonna get copyright struck for sure. Well, too late now. Okay, no, it is Street Fighter, 100%. I definitely know Chun Li. I definitely know Ryu. Damn, them thick, thick thighs, though. Not enough C's to fully represent how thick them thighs are. So this is Unreal Engine. I hope they change the logo. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is cool. I'm sure Street Fighter fans will be very excited. I've, I, I've always been more of a Tekken guy myself. So... This is RE Engine. It says X Caster. Is that true? Some people are saying they're not a fan of the art style. This is our destiny. My secret art. That never gets old. Street Fighter Six. Okay, they kind of changed it. Still looks like an esports promotion logo instead of a proper, you know, Street Fighter kind of situation. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I think it looks good. Art style wise, like I don't know, it looks fine. I'm not like I don't know. That was I'm not your upset first about it. At Street Fighter Six gameplay. Then again, I'm not Arctic super Calendars, invested in Street Fighter as a franchise. And PS4 in 2023. Now it's time for two indie adventures arriving later this year. Ooh, Tunic. If you haven't played Tunic, you really should. It's pretty good. Is this an expansion? Or wait, is Tunic... Tunic's not out on PlayStation. Is it? Amu Goras, or Amu Goras says, thanks for your videos. Thanks for being such a kind audience. Drobotify says, can see how many people are thrown off with the Resident Evil engine enhancing realism in a pretty cartoonish game. Okay, so it is the RE engine. Yeah, it's definitely, uh... Like, Street Fighter 4 was, uh... Or Street Fighter 5 was very stylized. 6 is definitely, like, trying to... Find a place in the middle between realistic and that more stylish vibe. She set out to record life at the end of this season. To make it real for people in the future. Mitch says, you think MGS3 remastered to be announced? No. Uh, I, I mean, it'd be great if they could just pour home. over all the, the, the Metal Gear collection. When the season turns, what will remain? But so far, it's just not looking like a likely prospect. Metal Gear Solid Only remake rumors are flaring, saw. though. What she so I imagine that's going to be announced sometime soon. She carries the sounds of the season with her. This is an Annapurna game, right? The way she listened made you want to tell her everything. Fascinating art style. I got style. to look in her journal. The world was telling her its secrets. I think she even figured out what will happen to us when the season ends. It definitely looks pretty. Is it going? Looks like a moving painting. Is it gone? Not yet. Is this uh, like a very sort of story-driven kind of experience? Season, a letter to the future. 
I feel like we've seen this in previous uh, state of plays and why not? Oh! Yo! FF16! Yoshi P! Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, you're very welcome. え、僕らゲーム開発者にはゲームを一生懸命作ると Ooh, okay. Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. And why not the wait? Icon. Titan. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Creative Business Every Unit 3. Delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Not the most uh, catchy of studio names. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. This combat looks freaking sick. I unite the dominance. Whoa. Let me bring an end to the strife. And found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. Looks like there's gonna be a, a little more more adult, more of a mature game. There's blood and everything. Yeah, they, they're not holding back on the, the island. More mature motifs. Citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. I wish there was more gameplay. I mean, it was like all in game. Child of fate. Awaken if free. That guy kind of reminds me of the Warrior of Darkness from FF14. But uh, let's see. Juni here says, Nice to see more of your Mal and Cookie voice lines in the latest event for the Cookie Run Kingdom. Oh, yeah. I, I'm glad you're enjoying that. Thank you so much. And that's a wrap. Oh, Don't they closed off at Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Even more okay. About today's announcements. Honestly. See you next time. Not bad. They sh showed more than I thought they would. Uh, like some pretty big announcements. Uh, Resident Evil 4, kicking it off with that was big. And then closing it off with more FF16, finally. Um, hold on. Did they show a release uh, date or release window? Let's see. Awaken, child. If Summer 2023. Oh, my God. Okay, that's later than I thought. I thought it was going to come out. Uh, late this year, but you know, whatever, I'll wait. Uh, it'll be worth it, I hope. I, yeah, I'm pretty confident. I mean, Yoshi P, he's, uh, you know, if there's uh, one man people trust at Square Enix, it's Yoshi P. Mercy Austin says, speaking of MGS, do you think the MGS movie is ever coming out? I don't know, man. Usually when a movie is on hold for this long, it usually means there's trouble in paradise, but, you know, there's, I think, a, there's been a resurgence in the number of video game movies and shows that have been coming out that stuff's getting like just more and more popular 
Um, and with Sonic being successful, Last of Us likely going to be successful. Witcher, which is, you know, based off the novels, but the video games helped popularize it. That being successful, Uncharted being a hit. I don't imagine why eventually a Metal Gear Solid movie can't come out. But, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. Uh, growing Appreciation says, My state of play would be much better if I could actually find a PS5. Fair enough. Uh, ho hopefully that'll get easier in the next year. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's always a, a year-long period or so where a console is very difficult to find. But, you know, a year, a year and a half and whatnot. But, yeah, with this generation, the shortage feels more severe. And because demand's just so high, but also the shortages are, yeah, really limiting um, everyone's ability to really meet the demands of electronic products. But, yeah, I hope I wish you the best on that front. It you really have to stay on top of that uh snail mail 2000 says finally at long last ff16 you're referring to yeah it looks it looks friggin sick um the combat looks uh, i've heard that like uh, one of the main guys for devil may cry 5 in terms of combat came on board this project and so that's why the combat looks so actiony and punchy and uh very you know combo-y and flashy uh, and with with there, but there also do seem to be enough of those RPG elements in there. You saw the health bars and the numbers, um, so it's definitely it does look like stats and leveling and all these things will matter. But combat's definitely not turn based. Uh, they're definitely moving away from that. Uh, the net the net god says, "I'm so glad we don't have to wait ten years for a Final Fantasy game." Yeah, summer 2023, and that seems very feasible if they're in just in the polishing stages. So I, I suspect. Um, yeah, I suspect uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get get that game in summer of 2023, and uh, I hope there won't be much of a a chance for a delay. Uh, Macrino Leon says, "Is FF final, uh, is Final Fantasy PS5 exclusive? 16, I believe, is for now. I think it is a timed exclusive. Um, all I know is that at launch, it'll only be out on PlayStation 5. Not not even just." I believe it's not a PlayStation exclusive. It's specifically a PS5 exclusive. I don't think it's coming out on PS4, is it? Steam uh, release date. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think it's just PS5. Right? Yeah, not coming to PS4, is it, from what I understand. Okay. Um, blah blah blah. Zbug eighty four. No little devil inside. Zero out of ten. Uh, the Uncharted Wolf. I was watching JoJo and I knew I recognized your voice as Poochie. You did an awesome job with him. Well, I'm glad to hear you enjoyed uh, the performance. Yeah, it's one of the greatest honors of my life is to play Poochie. Uh, I mean, a JoJo main villain and one so seminal at that. For those who've read the manga, it's uh, kind of a dream come true. I, I I feel very fortunate to be in a position where I can play characters like that. Uh, Maximum says Resident Evil 4 better have funny Leon I'll be mad if I don't hear your, you, uh, your left hand comes off or where's everyone going bingo <laughs> yeah I, I want that Leon sass I want the Leon quips in there that's part of the charm I agree Dragonheart613 have you heard anything about uh, when Square Enix plans to add more game soundtracks to their music channel love SEMC but still a lot of game OSCs missing I wish I could tell you but unfortunately uh, yeah I'm not in I'm not in contact with Square Enix about such things. You're going to have to take it up with them. Um, hopefully, they'll update it you know, frequently more it's kind of over time. And then, Rayfell, thank you for your generous contribution. I believe I got to as many people as I could in the super chat. Um, let's see. Yeah, folks in the chat just... Uh, just kind of, I guess, discussing what they overall thought about uh, this state of play. Yeah, I don't know. Post your ratings of this state of play in, in the in the chat. Let me know what you thought about it. I thought it was pretty solid, honestly. They they showed uh, some pretty substantial stuff. It wasn't like the press conference to end all press conferences. But, yeah. I'm also in like the 7 to 8 camp. Yeah, let's say 8. I'll give it a solid 8, yeah. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like five, six, 
Seven and eights. That's so it's sort of in that region. A couple nines. All right. Yeah, that that seems fair. Yeah, for me it was an eight. Uh, to actually see some gameplay of Resident Evil Four Remake, to see more of FF Sixteen was pretty neat, and uh, some stuff they showed in the middle looked pretty compelling too. Uh, I like seeing some of the stuff they're working on in terms of VR. Um, I'm I'm pretty excited for VR too, and it looks like Sony's really pushing for VR to be a big thing. And uh, so far, I'm liking what they're doing. Uh, Big Levian says no exclusives. Why got that a state of play? Uh, well, they did announce, though they did say that this is going to be more focused on third party. And uh, I guess we did get Horizon Forbidden West for, you know, VR 2, but PlayStation VR 2. But obviously, that's not something that everyone's going to be interested in. It's not as... It's, it's still niche VR. So, I understand that... Uh, for some folks, that's not, you know, much of anything for them. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man coming out on PC, I think is really cool. Uh, Gage Shippy says, Yon, can you do a video about Sakuna of Rice and Ruin? Something about the game, a hopeful sequel or something else, please. I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've ever heard of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Um... Uh, X caster how, what about re8 uh, DLC and reverse uh, we didn't see anything on that front we saw a VR thing coming out for Resident Evil Village uh, or uh, uh, just straight up you can play a whole game in VR essentially and uh, yeah Capcom knew Capcom knows what the fans want <laughs> Stray, right? They showed Stray uh, a little bit of it. It, it. Stray is one of those games where it feels like it's more of that like slow burn, long term uh, experience. You can't really like show a two minute trailer and blow people away with it. I feel it's one of those like you know experiences, if you will, that you really have to sit down and take your time with. Um, so I'm glad they showed a little bit of it though, just to see the kinds of gameplay and interactions you're gonna have in the game. It looks gorgeous. It looks it looks really. I don't know, both, like, adorable and endearing, but also really, like, dark and dingy. It'll be interesting to see just, like, how dark the game does get in terms of its themes and just how much it pulls at your heartstrings. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that concludes this state of play. Uh, there is Summer Game Fest happening later this month. Uh, Xbox Bethesda, obviously, I'm going to tune in for that and stream that. We're going to see, finally, some Starfield gameplay. A lot to look forward to. We're, we're going to be streaming quite a bit this month, so I hope you'll tune in and uh, appreciate all of you make it to these streams. And June always is kind of the big month for gaming news, so certainly expect uh, a lot of information. <laughs> King Smurtay says, no Morbius games. Jokes aside... I'm glad there's something, uh, there's some exciting new IPs. I agree. But yes, if we can't be Morbin on PlayStation 5, what's Sony doing with the rights? <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in, folks. Thank you for uh, hanging out, for the support, for the kind words. And uh, I'll see you very soon in the next uh, few press conferences. With that, I will see you guys next time. Young out. Peace.